Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS Advice, I am going to show you how to cut back a little bit of space on your iOS device. And what we're going to take a look at here is settings for Safari. Now, whenever you load up a web page here like this, Safari will actually save bits and pieces of that website to help make it load faster next time. So what we're going to do here first is go out to the home screen and we're going to go into the settings app here to see exactly what space is being taken up on my iOS device. So let's go ahead and scroll down to Safari here. We're going to tap on Safari. Then we're going to scroll all the way down to Advanced at the bottom here and tap on Advanced. Now under Advanced, the first thing you see is Website Data. Let's go ahead and tap on that. Now in here, you can see that there is actually little bits of space being taken up by quite a few websites. And you may have more than this on your device, but for me, this is what I have right here. And it'll show you all the website data that's being stored on here. And you can kind of scroll through it and see exactly what's taking up space on your phone. Now, some of this is the space that's consumed when you plug your device into iTunes and it shows up as other under your storage. This is part of that. And as you can see right here, this is taking up 269 kilobytes of data on my device. Now that may not be a lot, but if you browse the web a lot, that space can actually add up and it can amount to a lot more. So in order to get rid of all this stuff, well, you can simply swipe to delete this data. Or if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you see remove all website data. And you can go ahead and delete that data and that will actually clear out all of the website data on your device. So now you go back in here, you see zero bytes. Now this may impact performance of websites that you frequent, but it will help save some space on your iOS device. Now it is important to note that this will actually accomplish the same thing as clearing cookies and data from the basic Safari settings menu. But if you go into advanced here, you can selectively choose which website's data you'd like to delete. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Please let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom from appadvice.com and have a great day. <laughs>